going on, y'all? This your man, Pristine, back with another video. You know what I'm talking about, man? We back with another video. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, man. So, check this out, y'all. What's up? It's your man, Pristine, back in the building. Um, this ain't a review. It's not a unboxing or a thoughts and impressions or... It ain't none of that. This this is much. This is more for discussion's sake. All right. I was thinking about something a little earlier today, and I'm curious to know what you guys' take is on it. All right. So earlier today, I uploaded the video for my new Moto X4 here. Now, this is a really, 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 really good device. Um, I'm very pleased with it. It's no surprise. I mean, before I got this device. You know, down at my local Best Buy, you know, I had it in my hand several times, played with it, tested out the camera, and everything was completely flawless. And so I pretty much already knew what to expect coming in to the decision of picking this up. Um, now, <clears throat> earlier today, you know, I was looking at it, praising it. Obviously, it's got this beautiful construction, this blue, they're calling it sterling blue, which, you know, it's, look at it. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I mean... This is a beautifully crafted device. Um, but I was looking at the screen and noticed that the screen is the 16 by nine aspect ratio, right? And then <clears throat> I picked up my, my Honor 7X here and I started looking at the screen on it. And I was looking at the screen on it and looking at the screen on my Moto X4 here. And then I put them both down and I picked up <laughs> my iPhone X and I started looking around at the screen on this. And what I was currently thinking in the moment was what's the future for the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Is it starting to become a dying breed, if you will? Um, now, I know that for the longest time, you know, we've had, you know, the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and we didn't really have a choice. I mean, you know, there were phones in different sizes, but, you know, a lot of them had that 16 by 9 aspect ratio, um, which if that was really all that we had to choose from or go smaller to a smaller aspect ratio, then we didn't have any choices to go anything above that. Well, now that the 18 by nine aspect ratio has been introduced and it seems to be really cornering the market because a lot of the OEMs are really jumping on the 18 by nine uh, bandwagon. And so I'm curious to know devices that look like this as time goes on, will these get phased out? I mean, is the 18 by nine aspect ratio the new standard? You know what I mean? Um, as we know, Apple Apple is always late to the party. I mean, they don't really lead innovation in anything anymore, it seems. You know, Android just seems to come out with a lot of the innovative tech moves in the mobile department. And then because of demand, Apple, they'll jump on board and they'll implement some things in their devices to keep their fan base happy. I get that. Um, but, you know, Apple has come out and said that the X here is the future moving forward. So what does that mean for a lot of the people that have the iPhone 8 or the 8 Plus or the 7 or the 7 Plus or the 6 or the 6 Plus or anybody that has any Android device that has the 16 by 9 aspect ratio um and i'm also kind of curious to know okay is this just a fad right now i mean i understand you know we may have a standard and then something new hot and exciting will come out and people will hop all over it and they'll rock it for a little bit and then they start to fizzle out a little bit so is that currently what's going on with the 18 by 9 aspect ratio right now i mean is it the new standard or is it just what's hot right now because we haven't really seen it too you know thus far often and now that we seem to be getting hit with it from all sides you know a lot of the oems i mean are really taking that approach i mean so you know we got apple and the x here we've got 
the uh, the, the Honor X here or uh, uh, 7X uh, from Huawei. Um, I know on, as of February 18th of this year in 2018, we've got the Mate 10, uh, the Mate 10 Pro that's coming out. Um, you know, it sucks that they didn't get uh, carrier support like they thought they were going to, but that's going to be sold unlocked. Um, stay tuned because I'll have that here on the channel for sure. I'm definitely waiting on that. Um, but, you know, Asus, they've got a new device called the Asus Zenfone uh, Max M1. I believe that's going to be the first Asus device that's rocking the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Now, it's a mid-range device. It's got like like a, I think a Snapdragon 630 or a 660 or a processor that's comparable to it. Um, but it's got the, the, the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. I'm really excited, excited about that. It's going to be priced at 229 It's got the dual camera setup. Um, good front-facing camera. I mean, according to the specs, I mean, it looks really good. And you guys know I like Asus products, so I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that. But it just seems to me that a lot of the OEMs are really going this route with the 18 by 9 aspect ratio and so it leaves me uh with the question what about 16 by 9 and what's going to happen to it i mean is it slowly fizzling out like headphone jacks and when i say that i'm not taking stabs at you people out there that still like to uh plug in wire uh through a wire um i think we all know that the market is slowly but surely, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me, maybe some of you won't, but in my opinion, the market is slowly phasing out headphone jacks. And I think it's just a matter of time to where people are going to be forced to deal with the reality that, look, they're no longer going to be on phones, and you either need to go wireless or you need to carry around this additional accessory, which is the dongle that a lot of the OEMs stick inside of the box for the phones that don't have headphone jacks. You know, I is, is is 16 by 9 going to be one of those types of things? I'm curious to see. That's one of the other things about 2018 that I'm really excited for is, you know, I mean, as far as the history with 18 by 9 aspect ratio and this edge-to-edge -edge display, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I feel like the Sharp Aquos Crystal, like three or four years ago, did it first. And I don't think that that device got nearly as much love as it should have gotten because it was a beautiful device. Um, one of my coworkers, Tom, he had one. And I've always had two phone lines. I've always had the dopest flagships, whether it was, you know, whatever the latest offering from LG, Samsung, and Apple were at the time. Um, and so here, I've got these two high-end devices in my pocket, but yet I couldn't keep my hands off of my man Tom's uh, Sharp Aquos excuse me, Crystal, I'd never seen anything like it before, you know, where it was like the top of the phone was really edge to edge, and then it had like the the selfie camera down at the bottom, and then I know shortly after that, Xiaomi came out with the Mi Mix, and it was a big phone, I think it was like 6.4 inches or something like that, um, and it kind of had the same design as the Sharp Aquos Crystal, but it was just much bigger, and it too had the selfie camera down at the bottom of the device. And then last year in 2017, we saw the LG G6. We saw the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Um, we saw the LG V30. Uh, we saw the HTC U11 Plus, which has the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, and then we seen like a lot of smaller companies just trying to make a splash in the market. Companies like Umi DG, um, Doogie, Blue Boo. Um, uh, Elephone, uh, you know, companies like that that are like, you know, more reputable, you know, and, and have much bigger names overseas because they don't really have a, 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 a stateside presence here in the U.S. Um, you see a lot of those companies making devices with the aspect ratios of 18 by 9 or near bezel-less displays. Uh, you know, so again, this just seems to be the direction in which the market is going and so you know for all the people that are rocking devices with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio i mean do you think that we're going to reach a point in time where they're going to be forced to upgrade to an 18 by 9 just because 16 by 9 is slowly getting phased out what do you guys think let me know down in the comments you know what you guys think about this particular topic and let me know if this is something that you've even thought about before um you know now that there's a choice you know, which would you prefer? I mean, 
is the 18 by 9 aspect ratio so new and exciting to where now that you've got an 18 by 9 aspect ratio device, you don't feel as though you could ever go back to a device that has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio? Because I do have to say, as nice as this phone is, you know, I've always been the type of person where I adapt to my surroundings very, very quickly. You know, I can adapt to my surroundings rapidly. And the fact that I've just been surrounded with all these devices that have this 18 by 9 aspect ratio, and then I get a device like this, or even my, my Asus Zenfone 4 uh, Pro, you know, that, that's a flagship killing device. But yet, you know, it's still got the big chin, the big forehead, and it just doesn't really seem to be up to code or up to standard with a lot of the devices as far as the design that's coming out nowadays in 2017 now that we're here in 2018 so again i'm curious to know here in 2018 i mean and we won't find this out until you know these times come but as the as, as the year goes on and more of these devices come out i'm really going to be paying attention to the amount of devices that are coming out that have the 18 by 9 aspect ratio versus the 16 by 9 aspect ratio this is very interesting to me leave your comments below let me know what you guys think Okay, now if you're somebody that has a device that has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and you're thinking to you're thinking of upgrading to an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, let me know why. Let me know, you know, what is it about that 18 by 9 aspect ratio that that's just so appealing to you that it's make you gonna make the switch. Now, if you're somebody that already has a device that has an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, could you ever go back to a device that has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio? You know, if you have this or this is it going to be weird or damn near impossible to go back to this let me know down below in the comments what you guys think interesting conversation here all right I'm your man, Pristine, bringing you the content. Thank you guys for tuning in. Your time is much appreciated and valued, as always. Um, you already know, man. Keep it safe. Please, get spiritually fit, man. Get spiritually fit. I know that you guys visit my channel mostly for the content that I'm bringing about these mobile phones. But trust me, the absolute most important thing that I can tell you, and this is above any information that I can give you about any phone, please, get spiritually fit. We are definitely living in the last days. And if death were to creep around some unsuspecting corner, where are you going? Where's your soul going to rest for eternity? Okay? Things that make you go, hmm. Get right with Christ. Keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your man Pristine signing off. Eagle Nation. All day, any day. Let's go.